Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Thomson Twins Thomson Twins were a British music group that formed in April 1977. Initially a new wave group, they switched to a more mainstream pop sound, and achieved considerable popularity in the mid-1980s, scoring a string of hits in the United Kingdom, the United States, and around the globe. In 1993, they changed the name to Babel, to reflect their change in music from New Wave to dub influence Chill Out. The band was named after the two bumbling detectives Thompson and Thompson in Herger's comic strip The Adventures of Tintin. At various stages, the band had up to seven members, but their most known incarnation was as a trio between 1982 and 1986. They became a prominent act in the Second British Invasion, and in 1985, the band performed at Live Aid, where they were joined on stage by Madonna. Early Days In 1977, the original Thompson Twins lineup consisted of Tom Bailey on bass and vocals. Pete Dodd on guitar and vocals, John Rugg on guitar, and John Podjorski on drums. Dodd and Rugg first met when they were both 13 years old, arriving in London with very little money. They lived as squatters in Lilies Hall Road, London. Future Thompson Twins member Alana Curry lived in another squat in the same street, which is how she met Bailey. It was in this ramshackle and run-down house that they found an illegal way of borrowing electricity from the house next door. Bailey described themselves as sponges back then, as they were living on very little and scavenging everything they could lay their hands on. He even said that the only instruments they had were bought or had been stolen or borrowed. Dodd managed to get a council flat not far away. Their roadie at that time was John Hayde, who lived in the same house, and who later became their manager. As Podjorski had decided to stay in the north, the group auditioned for drummers at the Point Studio in Victoria, London. Andrew Edge joined them on drums for less than one year, and went on to join Savage Progress who later toured with the Thompson Twins as their support act on the 1984 UK tour. In 1980, the band released their first single, Squares and Triangles, on their own Dirty Discs label. A follow-up single, SHE's In Love With Mystery, was issued later that year. Lineup Changes in 1981, the lineup became Bailey, Dodd, Ruge, Bell, and two new members, former band Rody Joe Leeway on congas and percussion, and Jane Shorter on saxophone. This lineup recorded the first Thompson Twins album, a product of, documented in the film. Listen to London. Curry, who had been associated with the band for a few years, played and sang on the first album, but was not yet a full member. After the first album, the band's lineup shifted yet again. Saxophonist Jane Shorter left and was replaced by Curry, and bassist Matthew Seligman, a former member of the Soft Boys and the Fallout Club, joined, leaving Bailey to switch to keyboards, and with Leeway starting to handle vocals on some tracks. The band signed to Arista Records and released the album set. Thomas Dolby played some keyboards on set and some live gigs, as Bailey had little experience. With synthesizers before then, set contained the single, In the Name of Love, sung and largely written by Bailey. It became a number one dance club hit in the US, and an album entitled In the Name of Love was released in the US. To capitalize on the song's popularity, it entered the U.S. Billboard 200. Trio After the success of In the Name of Love, Bailey, Curry and Leeway, wanting to pursue the single's different sound, toyed with the idea of starting a new band on the side. 
which they planned to call the Bermuda Triangle. When, in the name of love, failed to make a substantial impact in the UK record charts, this plan was abandoned. However, at the same time, manager Haid convinced Bailey, Leeway and Curry to downsize the Thompson twins to a core of the three in April 1982. Accordingly, the other four members of the band were notified that the band was breaking up. They were each paid £500 and were allowed to keep their instruments and equipment in exchange for an undertaking not to perform together under the name of Thompson Twins. The remaining Thompson Twins, who had not in fact broken up, decided to go abroad to free themselves of any UK influence, as well as to combine the songwriting for their first album as a trio with a long holiday. They first went to Egypt and then to the Bahamas where they recorded at Compass Point Studios in Nassau with the producer Alex Sadkin. Bailey commented on the band's reduction to a trio in a 1983 interview. When we reformed the band, we were making a statement. We weren't going to be a rock roll band, we weren't going to have a guitar. We were going to move on. You know, Lou Reed said whenever he played live he ended up going back to heroin music. There are old associations, for associations we don't want because they don't reflect the way we feel today. Right now, technology is what's important. And that's what our music tries to reflect. International success The band broke into the UK singles chart and the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. At the beginning of 1983 with Lies and Love on Your Side, which became the band's first UK top 10 single. They then released their third album, Quick Step and Sidekick, which peaked at number two in the UK and was later certified platinum. Further singles followed with We Are Detective and Watching. All three band members received songwriting credits, though the band publicly acknowledged Bailey as the songwriter, with Curry contributing lyrics and leeway focusing on the stage show. During 1983, the band had the opening spot on the Police Concert Tour in the US. Hold Me Now was released in late 1983. The song was an international chart success, peaking at number 4 in the native UK where it became the band's biggest seller earning a gold disc and reached number three in the U.S. in the spring of 1984, becoming their biggest American hit. The band's new album, Into the Gap, was released in early 1984 and became one of the year's biggest sellers, selling five million copies worldwide. It topped the U.K. albums chart and was later certified double platinum there. Further hit singles from the album followed with Dr. Doctor, and You Take Me Up. Other singles included a new version of the album track, Sister of Mercy, and The Gap. The band embarked on a world tour in support of the album, which had also made the US top 10. A brand new single, Lay Your Hands On Me, was released in the UK in late 1984, and reached number 13 in the UK charts. Following this, the band parted company with their producer Alex Sadkin and opted to produce their new album, Here's to Future Days, by themselves in Paris. However, in March 1985, while promoting their new single, Roll Over, and the forthcoming album, Bailey collapsed in his London hotel room from nervous exhaustion. The Roll Over single was then cancelled at the last minute and the new album postponed. Though the band had chosen to produce themselves, the postponement caused them to rethink the project and producer Niall Rogers was subsequently called in to rework the album with them. The album was eventually released in September 1985, reaching the UK Top 5 and US Top 20, though failed to come close to the success of Into the Gap. It was preceded 
by the single, Don't Mess With Dr. Dream, and followed by the single, King For A Day, which peaked at number 22 in the UK, but reached number 8 on the US chart. Other singles included a new US version of, Lay Your Hands On Me, and a cover of the Beatles' 1968 hit, Revolution, which failed to make the UK Top 40. Prior to the album's release, the Thompson Twins performed on the American Leg of Live Aid in July 1985, and were joined on stage by Madonna. The planned summer 1985 tour of the UK had to be cancelled due to Bailey's health problems, though international dates were rescheduled and the latter half of 1985 saw sell-out tours for the band in the US and Japan. A second planned tour of the UK in 1985 was also scrapped due to the promoter declaring bankruptcy. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.